Cool. Hello. Um, my name is Ross Thorne, and I am a cartographer at Stamen Design, also a very avid Culver's fan, and I will fight for that, too. Um, fight for your right to eat a butter burger. That's what I always say. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, I'm going to talk about highway shields today. So a little bit about Stamen. We are a cartography and data visualization studio. Um, we've been making maps for a long time, everything from... Um, some recent projects like projecting uh, the yield of crops in Africa to base maps for interactive um, web maps. And so a lot of our work is built with OpenStreetMap. Uh, and so we're happy to be here talking about um, yet another use case in which we use OpenStreetMap data. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, highway shields, what they are, um, a little bit of their history, et cetera, um, and in OSM, what the data looks like and then how we've leveraged this data in um, some maps for Amazon Web Services. Um, and so it'll get a little bit more web map centric uh, by the end, but uh, the data overview um, will still sort of translate to any way that you're making maps with um, this data. So what are highway shields? Um, I'm, I kind of use this term shield colloquially and broadly. Um, and so it's really just any icon that shows a highway route or network number, uh, many times not a shield shape at all. Um, but uh, essentially, yeah, just any sign uh, with a distinct appearance that denotes that network of roads. And so here on the left, um, you've got the in U.S. interstate sign, which uses a blue and red escutcheon, um, which is a word I learned while I was researching highway shields. Um, uh, with white text as well as um, a rectangular red um, highway shield in the Netherlands. And so these are both highway shields. That's what I'm talking about today. Uh, and they're all over the place. Um, and they started to come into being essentially around the same time. Um, the earliest I could find is, is early 20th century and then that kind of came through to the mid 20th century all around the world, um, Asia, Europe, um, and the United States and, and many other places too. So. Uh, there's tons of networks out there today with a variety of administrative scales. Um, here, um, that blue-red escutcheon uh, is actually is in South Korea. looks a lot like the United States interstate. We've got the Utah um, State One, Romania, uh, South Africa, Taiwan, um, Asian Highway Network, and Pakistan. And here's how you often see them uh, in the wild, where you might see them around Salt Lake City, um, driving on a route and it's telling you what that route is, or maybe seeing an exit sign um, to tell you where to go to, um, or if you're on your way to Raising Cane's Chicken and you see um, a highway shield on the navigation map, which we'll talk a little bit about later too. And so a highway route in the real world and in OSM are typically made of um, several stretches of individual roads. And um, so the relevant network data is typically stored as a relation for multiple way features. In order for us to show the shields, for motorway sh features we need two specific attributes. And that's the network attribute which shows the highway system and the ref attribute which is the specific route. There, are, um, I just checked earlier, a couple days ago, there are over 200,000 relations uh, for road routes in OpenStreetMap that have a network tag um, not all of them might be highway shield worthy or something that we can actually use. Um, and that's sort of what we kind of look at in the research that I'll talk ab about in the future. Um, but we'll look at an example in an open street map. Here's I-80 that runs through Salt Lake City. Uh, and it has these particular attributes. So the relation has a network value of US colon I, uh, which is sort of the typical formatting for these networks, often with this country code. Um, and then the network or route signifier for I for interstate, for example. Um, and the ref key has the route number and typically what we show on the shield. Um, and yeah, and they hopefully follow this format all around the world. So um, there are different values to denote the routes. Um, here are some examples from the network key wiki page um, on OpenStreetMap wiki. Um, some national and regional routes some specific and some more general for these countries. Um, and that's sort of the brief overview of the data. Um, and I'll tell you about a little bit about how we've used it. So we've been working with Amazon for a few years now developing these maps. 
And if you Google Amazon um, Open Data Map Styles, you'll find this documentation and um, can read more about this and our work together, um, as well as on the Stamen blog, stamen.com slash blog. Um, we've released two different styles, a standard reference style, which I'll mostly be showing, and it has the highway shields, and a data visualization style, and both of those in light and dark modes. And here's the map. Um, I'll talk a bit about our philosophical approach for adding highway shields, uh, as well as the research involved, and then the creation and implementation of the, fee of the shields. And so on the left um, is a snapshot of the map in the Netherlands, and on the right is in Qatar. And we'll look at those specific shields a little bit later, too. Um, and so these highway shields can range on their admin values from international, uh, national, regional, sub-regional. Um, sometimes they're unique shields, and sometimes they're not. On the left, we've got the interstate shields and state highway shields that are used across multiple states. And on the right is the unique state shield to Utah, only within Utah. Um, for time, budget, and effort, we didn't really focus on the local unique state shields, uh, but instead the international, uh, national, and regional shields that could cover more area. Uh, the open data tiles are built on um, OpenStreetMap. And so we start by researching what is available in OpenStreetMap through the tiles. Uh, we created this label layer that helps us see what networks are present just at a glance. Um, and this screenshot is from a tool that we've made called Mapperture. Um, and the GitHub link is right there. You can use it too if you do any base map development. Uh, really handy. Um, so yeah, this just helps us uh, with this data research. It's, it's pretty quick. Um, for us to get a stock of what's actually available in OSM and what's in, available in the, in the tiles. Um, it's not without its quirks, as we all know. Um, so this first one, I was uh, creating some shields in the country of Benin in Africa um, when I came across this highway shield tagging. Uh, I can tell that it is a national route in Benin. Um, and, but there's also this one that is also a national route in Benin, part of the same network with a different tag, um, as well as this one and this one. Um, and so we can kind of see that if we're looking for specific strings, it becomes a little bit hard to do that. Um, uh, but nothing we can tackle. Um, and sometimes it's not as easy as it appears. Um, uh, network equals A seems to be probably the easiest thing you could come up with. Um, and I was researching the shields for Kazakhstan and saw this tag, logged it in my spreadsheet, didn't think much of it until it did not work. And I was like, what is going on? Am I going crazy? This is the letter A. Um, but um, it kind of, after a lot of head scratching, uh, we realized that the computer sees things differently. And so uh, on the left is the Cyrillic A, and on the right is the Latin A and they have different Unicode values. Um, and so I typed in the Latin A based on my default keyboard in the United States, and it did not match. And so I was going absolutely insane and seeing, am I looking at the letter A here? Um, so we do all that, uh, all that research and we tabulate all the networks um, that have available data to us. Um, and once we have that list, we'll research each network individually to see if it has a shield and then create the shield before moving on to the next. And so now um, we, we start ground truthing and researching these um, with the actual shields, uh, confirming that the networks have these shields, that we can use them. This is Wikipedia, uh, which is a great starting point. It doesn't have every country or every network value, uh, but it has a lot of the pictures, a lot of the routes uh, in the countries, um, which is very helpful. Um, but we like to corroborate with several sources if we can. Um, sometimes in our research, we'll come across shields that uh, are effectively the same. And so these three are all red rectangular signs that uh, the text is a little bit different, which doesn't matter since it's dynamically added in the map renderer. Um, and so if we've already made the shield for France, and then we find out Estonia has the same shield, and the Netherlands did as well as I showed before, um, we can essentially just reuse that shield and it makes uh, that go a little bit quicker for the research. Uh, and sometimes we'll find amazing documentation by local OSM users. Um, this was a call for Venezuelan highway shield support in the Americana style, um, and a local user responded with the immense detail, uh, great diagrams, and shields as well, um, and it was super helpful to find. Um, and then here's another one too, an OSM and a GitHub um, for South Africa and Namibia.
We also use um, street level imagery like Google Street View or Mapillary to help us ground truth um, the shields in that they look as they do in the real world. Um, and so yeah, here's a Google Street View of, um, I believe that's Japan, yeah. Um, any GeoGuessr players out there? Because um, you can just leave it to gamers to come up with this amazing documentation uh, and wikis for um, playing the game. So this is actually GeoHints, a website for documenting different scenery and infrastructure uh, in different countries with the purpose of aiding GeoGuessr play. Um, it's also very useful for ground truthing highway shields if you happen to be making a map of them. Um, and you can even click on the little icon next to the text in there and it takes you to the Google Street View so you can see exactly where this is. Very helpful. Um, and finally, um, we'll take a look at uh, other established maps, so paper maps, proprietary and public uh, paper and web maps. Um, we don't do this first and we're not trying to just do exactly what another map is doing, um, especially because sometimes we'll find inaccuracies or they've made generalizations that we don't want to make um, in terms of grouping things together, um, but it just helps to see um, kind of what's going on uh, and what other folks are doing. Um, once we've confirmed the shield for a network and it meets all the criteria, we'll either try to find a good clear photograph of an existing uh, or, or an existing and open uh, symbol image for us to use. Um, then we'll recreate the shield in Figma, which is a design software, if you're not familiar, like Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape. Um, and so yeah, that's a shield in Taiwan that we have then recreated um, in the vector software. And we keep doing that until we've got all of the shields. Uh, we currently have 70 highway shields in 53 unique styles that are used to represent over 100 road networks. And so a little mismatch in those numbers, 73, uh, or 70, 53, and 100. Um, as I mentioned, we reuse some if they're very similar. Um, and then we'll also have longer um, or bigger versions of the text in case that there's a lot of characters. Sometimes you'll have Highway 1 or you'll have Highway A243. And then if you stretch it a little bit too much, it gets a little distorted. So we like to have a little bit uh, more of a hand in that. Um, so this is, this is a screenshot of our Figma. And part of what makes Figma so cool is it's collaborative and cloud-based. So we can all work on it separately or together. Um, but it also has a REST API that lets you interact with Figma uh, files programmatically. So once we've got them all in the Figma document, we use a tool that we developed um, called Figma Set, also on GitHub there, uh, which uses GitHub Actions to grab all of the shields that we've made in the Figma file and then uh, compiles them into a sprite sheet that is readable by the map renderer. So it allows us to work really fast, uh, iterate really quickly, make tiny little adjustments, um, and have that uh, payback uh, real quick. So looking back to that map from earlier, um, this is an area of the Netherlands, and we've got three different shields on there in international green E-roads, the national um, level uh, red and yellow shields as well. Um, and then over in Qatar, the Qatar Motorways Network uses the shape of Qatar, so it's like a map within a map, which is kind of cool. Um, there's a few of those, actually. Uh, it's heavily, heavily generalized, because at the scale that you see it at, um, it doesn't really matter, um, and it's quicker to be that way. Um, you'll also see some of those white square shields. So this is a fallback for um, generic routes when there's no network tag, but there is a ref tag saying that this is an important route, but there's no real actual shield for it, potentially. Um, so then we, we, we just give it a fallback that it's, um, it's able to be seen, but not too, uh, not too prominent. Um, so yeah, and then we also made all of these for dark mode as well, and you can see those on the map there too. So, um, and that's all I've got. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Thank you very much, Ross. We only have time for one short question. After staring at all these shields for so long, do you have a favorite? Yeah, um, there's, I, I love, honestly, I don't know if I have a, the Taiwan shield is really cool, like the little flower shield. I love the ones that have details, and it, there's some that are just like really unexpected too. You're like, like that half moon shape. Can you see the cursor? Oh yeah, 
This Half Moon one from Pakistan is, I was like, wow, that's, that's wild. Um, these guitar pick looking ones, I really like those ones. Um, and then like some of the colors too, like the blue and orange, this is South Africa, actually it's probably better to show it on here. Uh, South Africa shield and another map within a map for Saudi Arabia. So there's a few different ones. I'd say um, I love like the ones that have like yellow accents. Those are the coolest in my book. Awesome. Thank you very much again for Thanks. the great presentation.